So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back again with another really interesting video which is related to Langchain and we have studied a lot of topics in Langchain before and this time we are going to study about agents. So without wasting any time further, let's get started. So first of all guys, as you can see on my screen, I have a definition of agent here. But we don't have to go into this definition actually uh, because what I am trying to explain to you is what are agents and how are they most essential in any lang chain uh, model or any large language model so basically guys the idea of agent is to execute a sequence of steps okay now some of you might say that what about chains in lang chain the chains api also provide the same thing it also helps us execute a sequence of steps but the difference is that in case of chains, you are actually hard coding the sequence yourself. For example, in chains, you are specifying that yes, this is the LLM model. So first create a LLM model, second create a prompt, third uh, you format the output of the prompt and then you return the answer, right? So the sequence of event is hard coded in case of chains. However, in case of agents, the sequence of event is not hard coded. It is actually the duty of the agent himself to find out which action should be taken next in the sequence on the basis of its own intelligence. Now this sounds a little bit confusing to you. I, I can get that. Let's try to understand that with the help of an example in chat GPT. So let me bring my screen to you. So here you can see guys that I did a small conversation with Char GPT. What I said to Char GPT that he is a current affairs expert who specializes in cricket. A cricket world cup is going on guys. So I thought the best way is to use that example in our case. So basically I have made Char GPT a sports journalist, a cricket expert journalist and I make him answer my question. So the first question I asked uh, to Char GPT is which country won the cricket world cup in 2011 so that's the first question and the second question is who is right now the most popular cricketer of that country now try to understand this that this one question has got two parts in it and the output of the first question has to be fed to the input of the second question right now let's assume that your chat gpt is actually gathering the data from two days of data sources First data source is a statistics uh, data source where it can get that which country won the Cricket World Cup in 2011. However, second data source is a social media data source where uh, it is trying to find out which cricketer is the most popular right now, right? So, agent in case of in case of this, the agents have the responsibility to find out which data source to call first okay first it has to find the data from the uh, statistics data source and the second it uh, action has to be to find the data from the social media data source so this sequence of event like calling the stats api first and then calling the uh, social media api this sequence of event is actually not something that is hard coded or not something that we are hard coding with our language large language model this sequence of event is actually automatically intelligently understood by the agent himself another demonstration is that so you can see that when i gave it that question it gave me the answer that in 2011 india won the cricket world cup and right now uh, until 2022 virat kohli and Rohit sharma are the most popular cricketers right and now in my next question just to demonstrate that large language model doesn't hard code the sequence of the data sources to call or the sequence of event i have now reversed my question now i ask that who is right now the most popular cricketer in india and when did india last won its world cup in cricket so now i have reversed the question first i am asking about social media and second i am asking about the statistics api and you can see that chat GPT works perfectly and still says that up till January 2022, Virat Kohli is the most popular cricketer. And then it also says that India won the World Cup in 2011, right? So here you can easily uh, now try to understand what is the responsibility of agent. So 
it is also using the you know similar thing like chains to sequence the events together however it is intelligently finding out what should be the sequence of action okay and it's not hard coded now that we know a little bit about agent it is time to understand a little bit of theory because now we we know a little bit uh, of overview so it's time that we understand some terms which are associated with agent so here you can see guys in the bold letters i have mentioned certain terms first term is nothing but your agent action so agent action as you can understand that it is the action that it has to take for example in our example case we were calling a start cpi to find out uh, which country won the world cup in 2011 right so that is sort of an action so agent action is nothing but that uh, but that and in other terminology you can uh, you can also call it like uh, this uh, this agent action is basically uh, this action is actually calling a tool to complete its you know to to complete its work for example if my action is that i want to find out when india won the world cup or in 2011 who won the world cup this is my action now in this action i have to call a tool called as statistics rest api or something and that tool will give me the answer okay so agent action is basically the action you have to take but to take that action you have to use a tool okay another thing is agent finish so agent finish is basically uh, just telling you uh, that the agent has finished executing the action and now it can return to the user the output okay the output which is given to the user is basically like a dictionary uh, and then you know based upon the formatters and parsers you can obviously parse the output and then uh, a really important thing is intermediate steps so as i told you that what our agent is doing it is actually intelligently understanding first the sequence and then it is executing all those actions in the sequence in an order so for example the first action is to get which country won in 2011 take the output of that action feed it into the next question and then find out who is the most popular cricketer of that country right so this is called as uh, you know step by step action and to reach from your initial step to your final step there is uh, you are going through uh, a lot of intermediate actions also intermediate steps also so all those intermediate actions that are taken between the start and finish action are called as basically intermediate steps okay and their uh, outputs are uh, obviously uh, taken from one action and then fed to the next action so they these are the intermediate actions whose outputs are actually being passed around the whole sequence okay so i hope this uh, term uh, is clear to you now coming at tools so if you remember i was mentioning about agent action and i was mentioning about tools so basically what is a tool tool is nothing but a function that an agent calls so let's say if i want to find out uh, which country won the world cup in 2011 i am going to call a rest api that is itself a a function right now let's say if i want to find out the number of employees in a company then i'm going to fire an sql query so sql query is also like a function which is give you data which is giving you data from a database another example let's say i just want to uh, count the number of letters in a word so you just create a simple python function you give it a word it's going to count the number of letters and it's going to give you the result okay so tools are the function that an agent calls it could be a rest api it could be a sql api it could could be an inbuilt function or a custom made function just to get you the answer okay and then uh, i mean last but not the least the final term that we need to understand before going into the practical is agent executor what is an agent executor guys so now we know that it is an agent which is determining the sequence of actions right but to execute that agent or to use that agent to execute that sequence of action we need a run time think of it like this way right so for example you have a program that is basically determining to you that okay 
the number one function is statistics api the second function is social media api the third function is a format function which is formatting the output or summarization function which is summarizing the output and giving it to, giving it to you so that program basically gave you a list of function a ordered list of functions to execute but who is actually executing this function to execute those functions you actually have to create a for loop right so think of it like this way agent executing is nothing but like a while loop which is taking that sequence of actions that are determined by the agent and thus you know calling them just executing them so agent executor is really important uh, if you want to execute the actions which are determined by the agent okay okay so now guys we are through with the theory and i know you guys must be waiting for the practical part so now let's get started with how to implement and use agent in your large language model code okay so just remember guys uh, this uh, notebook already has my open ai key and everything already sorted so uh, if you guys don't have your open ai key please do declare it before you start executing this right now the first thing first what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, import a open ai model okay a large language model now in most of my videos you might have seen that i'm just using a simple open ai temperature zero model but in this case i am going to demonstrate a little bit of a conversational sort of agent uh, conversational sort of large language model uh, code or program as what you can say so that's why i'm using a chat open ai model so based upon your requirement you can use you know different type of model if you want your conversation to be more con uh, if you want your chat to be more conversational and not just to the point answer you can you know select your model accordingly okay So I'm gonna use a chat open AI, and then uh, I'm going to assign it a temperature uh, zero because I want some randomness in my model. Now let's execute that. Now going to the next part. So the first thing first, uh, what I told you guys is that every single agent wants to execute some action, and to execute an action, that action needs a tool. To it needs a function to call, right? To basically execute an action. So the first thing what we are going to do right now is to create a custom tool. So there are inbuilt tools that you can use. For example, API chains you can use, SQL chains you can use. You can use uh, you know inbuilt uh, large language model tools as well, OpenAI functions as well. But I am going to create a custom tool. So to create a custom tool, I am going to import the uh, function uh, called as a uh, decorator called as tool. and when i import this decorator tool now i'm going to use uh, my uh, function with this decorator okay so i have a function which is basically a python function this is doing nothing but it is taking a word and it is giving you the length of the word or basically the number of letters in that word just to make this function as usable as a tool by agent action i am going to put the decorator add the red tool over it and that's it now if i execute this this function get word length has basically become a tool and now it's ready to be used by a, an agent okay okay so now i am going to create a list of tools that my agent might use for now we are only going to use single tool but i'll show you very quickly that you can add multiple tools in fact you should add multiple tools in agent that's the whole point right to create a sequence of events uh, but for now i'm just going to add one single tool now you have got your tools list covered now it's time to actually start creating your prompt okay now if you want to create uh, a prompt with your uh, uh, you know if you want to create a prompt with a with your uh, user input and some description you want to give it to the prompt that what it's supposed to do for example if it's a sports analyst or something like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a chat prompt template for that okay you can use a simple prompt template i kid you not i'm telling you that you can use a simple prompt template 
but i want to make this more chatty more conversational and i also want to give my prompt a little bit of context that it is a certain type of uh, you know certain type of chat agent okay so i'm going to uh, import chat from template and i'm also going to import message place holder message place holder is nothing but an api which is basically or or a class which is basically holding all your previous messages inside it and whenever you execute your uh, uh, whenever you execute your large language model and create a production uh, create a prediction it is going to print that these are the messages you previously asked okay that's why i'm using message place holder and now finally i'm just going to use a very boilerplate code of creating a prompt template where i'm just providing it a context in the system variable that's a powerful assistant but it is bad at calculating the length of word so why i'm writing this so that it uses the function which is given by the tool to calculate the length of word and then the user input message place holder as i told you it's going to put all the messages in a agent scratch pad variable and it is going to display that scratch pad whenever we will run our prediction okay so let's execute this and now a really important uh, thing guys so we created a tool right open ai large language model does not understand the tool functions okay it, it has got no idea that this is a tool and this is a function that i, I have to call it has got no idea but what open ai understands or what open ai llm model understand are the open ai inbuilt functions right so what we have to do is we have to sort of bind the large language model provided by open ai with this tool and to do that binding there is a function that we use that's called format tool to open ai function so not to make it too much confusing i'm going to just import that function and you see this function format tool to open ai function as the name suggests it is just formatting the tool and converting it into a open ai function so that it can be used easily by the open ai large language model okay and to bind those open ai functions with the llm model i am going to use a llm dot bind function so it would look something like this so you will call llm dot bind in the bind you will pass the functions and the functions how are you going to create the function you are going to use format tool to open ai function to convert every single tool to the function and put that in a list and pass it to llm dot bind okay so i hope it was not too confusing for you guys okay so we got a small error llm is not defined so that was my bad i think uh, we didn't execute this part let's do it again and so llm is now defined i think it was not defined before okay so now it works right so now we have got our tools we have bound those tools with our llm and also we have our prompt template so now there is nothing stopping us there is nothing stopping us to start creating a agent okay so now we will create our agent so to create our agent guys we will use a certain sort of pattern okay so as i told you that your agent is going to take uh first of all it's going to take user input so i'm going to take input and that is going to be uh, in the variable input itself okay the next thing your agent will take is the context or the intermediate steps which it has executed before to reach to the final statement right so what we are going to do we are going to take all the previously executed actions all the previously executed actions convert that into an open ai function and provide it to our uh, convert it into an open ai function and then provide it to our agent as a context okay so just think of this as like a prompt template right what does our prompt template want so here is our prompt template prompt template also needs a user input 
and it needs a context so same like that agent also needs a context however in agent's case it is going to be all the previous intermediate actions which were executed so to do that we will again provide it the same variable called as agent scratch pad which is for the context but the uh, you know this variable is going to be populated by all the intermediate steps all the intermediate tools that were executed convert that into an open ai function and that's what it will be provided okay so now if we do this then we will simply pipe it with prompt okay so your prompt is providing the input your intermediate steps are nothing but your llm with tools because these are the open ai functions and then finally guys you also need to parse your output right you also need to create your so whenever your agent finish will be called your agent finish will basically is going to do the final action right so it needs to format your output or parse your output so that you can read it in a you know better way okay so for that we are going to use a output parser so that's called as open ai function agent output parser because you don't want very raw function output right you want it to be you know nice in a paragraph in a little conversation way right however you might have noticed that i have not imported uh, open ai function agent output parser so what i'm going to do i am going to just simply import it and i have also not imported for format to open ai functions so i'm going to import that as well okay right so now when i execute this you will see that your agent is actually ready so now your agent is you know created so now your agent is created what do you need to run the agent and i guess you guys already have guessed the answer it's nothing but agent executor so the last thing that we are going to import is our agent executor once we add the agent executor we will create the agent executor variable and here we will pass three things what three things we are going to pass we are going to pass the agent itself we are going to pass all the tools because those tools are later going to become llm with tools and the llm with tools will later become the intermediate steps and given to the Con given as a context to the agent, right? And the final uh, variable is verbose equals to true. This is nothing but just to you know give you a return output every single time. So that's why. And now I'm just going to execute this. So once it's executed, uh, agent executor is now ready to be invoked. Okay. So to invoke the agent executor, nothing. You just type agent executor dot invoke. and in the bracket you will pass your input or whatever you can call the variable user input or whatever but you just have to you know change it every single where but i'm just going to call it input so what's going to be my question my question is going to be how many letters in the word cricket okay and let's try to ask how many letters are in the word cricket and you can see your agent executor is now invoking it invoke the get word length so it is like printing every single thing because you uh, have the verbose true and you created your agent scratch pad so whatever was in the scratch pad it's going to print everything right so it says finally output is and this is your output parser output there are seven letters in the word cricket so there you go guys now you have your answer but now some of you might say to me that why did we go you know through all this complex stuff just to see you know how many letters are in the word and it didn't even display any sequence thing because there was only one function and actually you are right right so we need to uh, create an example where we have more than one function to execute more than one tool to execute and let the agent executor decide the sequence take one output of one function and feed it into the other and then generate the answer okay so let's do that okay so do that uh, guys what i am going to do i am going to use a tool which is inbuilt 
uh, by large language model and this tool is basically a uh, math tool okay it is called as LLM math chain so here it is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna import this tool here now what LLM math chain does is it provides us a lot of functions like uh, you know square root power and all these complex mathematical functions right so this is your uh, LLM math chain and now I'm going to create a, a tool and I'm going to uh, make sure that the function of that tool is the uh, function that's taken from LLM matching okay so in the previous uh, thing we were creating our own custom tool right so that's why we were using our uh, decorator tool decorator to make a custom function a user build function or tool but this time we are not gonna do we're not gonna create a custom tool or make a uh, function as that we are going to actually just use tools class to create a tool so first we are going to uh, import it so from langchain.agents import tool okay so if you have langchain agents tool uh, data class or tool class then you can uh, also create a tool with this class and it's pretty straightforward so let me just go here and I'm gonna create a mathematical tool so you can see it's very simple you just write the name of the tool you want to create as and then the class tool and in the constructor of this class we are going to pass the name of the tool so in this case I'm naming it as calculator the function which you have rightfully guessed that I have taken that function from the LLM match chain so LLM match chain dot run so whatever the action is so for example if you want to have the uh, if you want to ask your uh, large language model what is the six, uh, square root of um, 15 then it is going to just take that put it uh, put that question in llm match chain dot run it's going to use this predictor model and it's going to give you the answer right and the description is uh, you know not that important it's just basically answering you math related questions okay so whenever you have got uh, these uh, type of things where you have got their open ai uh, apis that already have that uh, uh, you know uh, open ai apis that are doing the job for you or you have got your rest apis that are doing the job for you you can easily use a uh, tool class to declare it but if you want to have like a custom function or if you have a very small use case like before you can just use a decorator okay however now that we have created the tool let me first run this so let me run this okay i think i made one small mistake so llm matching is not defined okay sorry about that i think it's is the capital one yep now it works so now uh, the math tool is created but one thing you might have noticed is that we haven't added this tool in the list of tools that we are going to provide to our agent right so that's the next thing i'm going to do get word length and then math tool and once i execute this then my tools list is complete okay so now my tools list is complete and all you have to do is just keep on executing the rest of the code as it is right you don't have to do anything because you have already added the tool in your uh, list right so just execute all the steps you know one by one and let's go to the agent executor but this time in the invoke function we are not going to ask how many letters are in the word cricket we will also ask that whatever is the number of letters just raise it to the power of 2 so how many letters in the word cricket and what is that number raised to the 2 power now if I run this we should see that 7 should be you know power to 2 and we should get 49 okay so we got a small error 
and what's the error str object has no run output key okay so that means definitely something is wrong with the llm math chain let's try to figure that out together so because we have got llm math chain with us what we can do is go to the open ai uh, basically open ai uh, uh, you know api and find out so now i have find out that what was wrong with this uh, particular thing so basically guys i did uh, import a class called a llm math chain which is nothing but a large language chain right but i didn't create the object of this particular class i just passed the class itself and i did class dot run which is wrong because run is not a static method so first i have to actually declare an object of llm math chain and then use that object so i'm just going to quickly do that so my llm model is already declared above you can see my llm model is already declared above so just to create an object of llm math chain i have to pass my llm model and i just do llm math chain from llm and pass it so now i am uh, i have got my llm math chain uh, object and with this object i'm just going to run the run command okay so now this would work but previously was not working because run is not a static method right so now uh, again we have to add the tool again and once we have added all the tools the rest everything is pretty straight forward you just you know run all the steps one by one and finally let's go to our agent invoke class again and hopefully this time is going to work okay so there you go it entered the llm math chain chain and it gave us our answer that is 49 okay i know the font is a bit small but i guess you can see the answer is 49 so it has actually given us our answer uh, sorry about the hiccups in the previous thing guys it's just that uh, sometimes you have to go through open ai uh you know documentation to find out what's the right way to actually execute a model so i was having some issue in that but now you can see that it works right in fact it's still working which i am not sure so i'm just going to you know stop it and now you can see the output is there so uh cricket has seven letters when you raise the number to the power of 2 you get 49 okay but now you might say well you know what there are so many steps Oh my god so many things that we have to do to actually just create an agent because agent invoker is you know agent executor is simple that's the simplest part that you just you know invoke it but to initialize an agent all that format api the tools thing everything is just so so tedious right and that shouldn't be the case we shouldn't be doing all that all that you know tedious thing with us So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to you know delete all the code which is the boilerplate code and not do all these things and I'm going to just use a simple function that's provided by the OpenAI to initialize an agent. Okay. So definitely I'm gonna keep my LLM model alive. I'm not gonna touch that. Definitely I'm gonna keep my tools alive because tools are something that you only have to. uh you know you have to declare them this way there's no other way that you can leave tools okay and now the tool list is something i'm not gonna you know not gonna touch it i'm gonna delete the prompt i'm gonna delete the binding of the llm model with the tools and i'm gonna delete the creation of the agent with so complex code okay i'm just gonna delete everything Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that nice function that is going to give me a very simple code to create an agent. But when you are using initialize agent function to actually create an agent, you also need one more thing which is called as agent type. Okay, so you do need tools and you do need your large language model, but you also need something called as agent type. So I will explain you the agent type, but in the meanwhile i will just import it okay now now you have this initialize agent function with you 
let's try to create a uh, agent with this function so all you have to do is agent executor is equals to initialize agent call the function pass the tools pass the large language model and the agent type and verbose equals to true and that's it that becomes your agent executor and then i am going to actually delete this code also delete this code also and just going to use this command here and i will try to so this is your okay sorry initialize agent import is not imported first let's import it now execute this to create the agent executor in a simple way then i'm going to execute the same command which we did but with all that complex logic okay you can see that it's invoking get word length and we first got 7 and in the next execution we do see 7 into 7 to the power 2 is being executed and the answer it has found as 49 and very soon it's going to give us the output as well okay so there you go guys you can see that using initialize agent it is really simple so there you go you found output so using initialize agent it is really simple to create a agent executor you don't have to do the bindings you don't have to create the agent yourself you don't have to create the prompt template you have to do nothing you just use this way of creating an agent executor and it's pretty straight forward however you might now ask the question what is a agent type and why did i suddenly come up with this so guys agent type is nothing but a type of the agent as its name suggests it basically gives the agent a sort of a context like right? or example agent type open ai function basically means that this agent is more likely to be given a, a tool set of open ai function and then it has to choose between those open ai function to determine which sequence to execute uh, you know which sequence it has to execute first and which it has to execute later right so Uh, this is one agent type, and then there are many other agent types. For example, there is a zero shot agent, which is very general purpose. Just if you want to, you know, uh, query very simple, simple things. Then there is a conversational agent type, which is also, uh, you know, very commonly used if you want to create a chat, uh, uh, chat like large language model. If you want to have a chat like conversation with a little bit of summary, with a little bit of paragraph, with a little bit of sentences, and all. then you use that agent type and there are many such agent types you can go to the open ai documentation and you can find them okay what i am going to do is i will also show you that uh, open ai documentation okay so yeah one second so you can see that this is the open ai documentation and if you click on agent types you will see all sort of agent types that you can use okay now it depends upon you what is your uh, basically you know requirement so that is all about the agent guys i know this video has been so long and you guys have been really patient with me uh, but i hope this video was informative for you and you did learn something from it and it helped you in your llm journey uh if it did help you in any way guys and please do not forget to like this video share this video with your friends if you have any questions comments suggestions for me please do write down in the comment section below if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please 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 do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos i'll see you guys in the next video guys until then take care and bye bye